I'm Annette Mays. I'm the head of Audience Labs of the Royal Opera House. I think what's exciting about Immerse UK is that it's bringing together people who haven't met each other before because immersive is a new way of making work, a new medium. So it takes someone to introduce the people to each other that can make that possible. I think for us, uh, as a Royal Opera House, uh, working with Immerse UK really allows us to connect with a wider sector that is new and exciting to us and really convene conversations that would be impossible for us to initiate on our own. Whenever there is something new happening, it will need someone to broker those new conversations, those new relationships, to really help um, diverse makers to come together and find a shared language. And that's where you, Immerse UK comes in. The UK is perfectly placed to create really exciting, artistically exciting, and technologically innovative content. We are at the verge of, of really creating a new art form, new kinds of work. Um, there is so much talent in the UK. It's just a question about making the right relationships now. I think the barriers are the same things that are the exciting things in Immersive at the moment. It's new, it's exciting. We have to build these interdisciplinary teams and bring production processes together from film and theater and digital. And I think exploring together how we as the UK find our place in that, having a body like Immerse UK that brings us together to facilitate how we work together to make really beautiful new work is really important. I think the future really needs um, more space for dialogue. It feels like we're just at the start of something and having, um, having a body in the UK like Immerse UK that um, really allows that cross-pollination between different industries and finding pathways both in business but also the art of it um, is really important.